Hey there, Confidence Crew. Hi, Rebels. It is Claire here. Happy 4th of July. Um, I'm popping on for a surprise live video. Um, so I know many of you are probably celebrating or, you know, today's a little bit out of the ordinary for a lot of us. Um, so that's cool. Hopefully you're watching this when you get a chance. Um, our topic this week is confidence in the kitchen. And so today I'm going to be talking about five tips that I use for meal prep. Um, I just want to say when I first was planning out um, this summer of confidence, I was expecting this topic to have me actually doing meal prep and chopping and cooking and showing you that. Um, but it got a little crazy this week. Um, I'm actually headed to Illinois at the end of this week. Um, so I'm going to be heading to Donna's house. Um, so the Joyful Rebels will be reunited. Um, so expect videos of us together in the same frame. Um, it'll be exciting. Um, so because of that, I have some of the stuff I've already made. And I'm just going to talk you through five tips that work for me in terms of meal prep. And I will say, disclaimer, I am not a dietitian. Um, I don't have a nutrition background. Um, I just, I practice these things and they have helped me. So if you need help with like specific nutrition goals, um, things like that, then maybe you're seeking out, you know, a nutritionist, a dietitian. Um, we had a really cool conversation on the Joyful Rebels podcast um, two weeks ago with Leah okay. Porsche, who's in this group. Um, and we talked about, you know, some things in terms of uh, diets or anti-diets. Um, so there are other sources available, but I, as someone who has done meal prepping for at least the past year, I'm just going to share what works for me because we want to be confident when we're in the kitchen. Um, when it's time to eat, we want to feel confident and good with our food choices. So that's what this is about. Um, I'll share what works for me. And again, I've got five main tips that I'm going to be talking about. Um, so the first thing, what is meal prep, right? Um, you're preparing, right, your food before you eat it. And that can be so many things. It can just be chopping up vegetables before you're going to saute them, right? That's some meal prep. Um, it can be planning and writing out the meals that you're going to do based on dietary needs or what people are asking for in your family, right? Hitting everyone's, you know, hitting something that they want. Um, Prepping can be looking through ads and seeing what's on sale. And just again, it's that pre-work of planning. So it can look a lot of ways. And I will say before I was doing it consistently, um, it can look intimidating. Like when you see people with all their things lined up and everything so um, particular and organized. And so I'm here to say that meal prepping is what you make it. It's doing things ahead of time. And so tip number one, if you want to start prepping your food, your meals, um, get clear on your goals. Get clear on why you're doing it at all. Um, because with any new habit, um, and we'll talk about this at the end, like motivation goes away. So the thing that's going to keep you coming back is knowing your why. And so at Joyful Rebels, you know that we're all about peace and ease. So for me, meal prepping started out of ease. Um, I don't know about you. But if I've had a stressful day or even just a normal day, which can feel stressful, um, and I open the fridge, I, I have decision fatigue. I don't want to have to think about the meal that I'm going to make now. I'm, I might have plans in the start of my day for this fabulous dinner I'm going to make, and by the end of the day, I'm tired and I don't feel like making it. So what's the easiest thing? So if I can... If I have certain goals and foods that I want to eat and that I like and they're hitting, you know, what I want, and again, this is very personal to your own goals, um, if it's there for you, it's easy, it's ready to go, you're more likely to do it. So getting clear on your goals, like why do you want to start meal prepping? So ask yourself that and get really clear. Um, you might have heard people talk about macros before, and again, I'm not a dietitian, but you know, you might want to be eating a balance of your proteins and your carbs and your fats. One of my whys um, is because I want to make sure I'm prepping because I want to make sure I'm eating enough protein. Because if I'm lifting weights, which I'm doing for me because I want to be strong, 
And we know that strength training is strongly correlated with longevity and being healthy as we age. Um, lifting the weights is only half of that equation. Eating protein is the other part of that equation. So I want to make sure that I am eating enough protein. So that's another reason why I meal prep. So I know I've got tons of protein options available for me throughout the week. So before you're gonna start, again, tip number one, get clear on why. Why do you wanna do it? And probably ease is gonna be a part of that, making things easier for you, hitting other nutrition goals that you have. Um, the second tip that I have is to prep for the meal prep. <laughs> what? I've already, like, I want to make this easy. Why are you telling me all this extra work I have to do? Um, it's one of those situations where the more work you put in ahead of time, then when you actually come to do it, it's easier. So do your homework. Like, figure out the logistics of it. So, for example, for me, I will look at the weekly grocery ads. I'll just take a couple minutes. Oh, these proteins, these vegetables are on sale. Okay. I know that, that I'm going to work that into my meal prep. Um, check my freezer. Is there anything I need to use up in my freezer? Is anything going to go off in my fridge? So again, putting in that time beforehand so I'm not just surprised with something that's spoiled and I'm throwing away another bag of lettuce. I don't know if that's you, but I tend to do that. Um, think about your week. So are there days where you definitely need meals to go? Um, are there days where you might need to bring extra snacks to go, right? Like just project out a little bit into the future. What's going on? Take a look at it. Okay, now I'll work backwards. What do I need to bring? Um, so this can look a couple different ways. Like, so I meal prep for myself and my husband and he works out of town. So he has to take all his meals with him. So that's, we're talking about like full meals within one container. Um, for me, I like to batch cook ingredients. So I will have all my proteins in their own containers, veg in a container, starches, carbs in a container so that I can kind of mix and match how I feel. But again, it's gonna be up to you. So what do you need? Um, I like to think about like, what appliances am I gonna need for this meal prepping? Like, I, I'll be honest, peace and ease, you hear it again. I like to use my microwave, my air fryer, and my slow cooker. <laughs> I will use my grill, I will use my oven, but those are the main things that I'm working for. So I'm gonna try not to have multiple things like that require the air, the air fryer, because then it's gonna extend the time that I'm doing my meal prepping. So it's just having to think about those things beforehand. Um, you're gonna wanna clear off an area when you're about to start, right? Like just give yourself some space, a fresh, clean space. You're like, this is time and space dedicated to doing this when you get into it. Um, when I make, I talked about batching ingredients, so I'll like to cook a big batch of a protein. You know, my go-to is um, a chicken breast. Um, so one of the easiest things I'll do is I'll get out my slow cooker. I'll layer in the chicken breast and, you know, four minutes, four minutes, four hours on high. Um, one tool that I find that's important for me is to have some type of thermometer. Um, because I don't know about you, but I don't love super dry overcooked chicken. So just having that thermometer and you can get digital thermometers for pretty cheaply. So that's one tool that I think is really helpful. Um, I also like to get bags of frozen shrimp um, and stick those in the air fryer. And I usually do 10 minutes, um, eight to 10 minutes at 400 degrees. And then that's four meals worth of protein there. Um, for vegetables, I am a huge fan of just the bags you can steam in the microwave. There is nothing wrong with frozen vegetables. Um, I believe that some studies have shown that um, it has a higher nutrient value because it's flash frozen right after it's picked. It hasn't been sitting out you know, on a store shelf for days. So. There's nothing wrong with frozen veg, and if you're going for ease, so a typical thing that I might do is stick my shrimp in the air fryer. Okay, that's 10 minutes. Then go stick a bag of frozen broccoli in the microwave for seven minutes. Then when the broccoli's done, I'm gonna get my microwave rice bag, 90 seconds. I then have four meals worth of food. So one bag of veg, 
one pouch of rice and you know you determine the amount of chicken that you want that's usually at least four meals right there that I can bang out in 10 minutes um, and if you need to you can again take all those components and package them so I like to use if I'm doing that with multiple like protein veg carb I like to use these and what's cool is I mean you can get these at Walmart um, but my local Chinese food restaurant they use these and <laughs> they're microwave safe and they're dishwasher safe um, or you can get you know the circular kind but it's nice because these can stack um, easily in your fridge and these are a little wider and a little shallower um, as opposed to you know the ones that have more height so you're just gonna find containers that work for you um, so tip one figure out your why tip two do your prep work beforehand, kind of figure out your menu, get your space ready. Um, tip three, don't be afraid to try new flavors. So we talk about confidence in the kitchen and you might feel in a rut, like you're always eating the same things. But one roadblock to meal prepping is that you might say it's boring. Oh, I don't want to eat just steamed, you know, chicken and, and broccoli every day. Um, I hear you. Um, if you are someone who likes to pick one meal and kind of hyper fixate on it, like that's fine. I'm not telling you to change that. Like if you're happy, that's fine. But if you're saying, oh, I don't want to do this because I get bored. Well, don't be afraid to try new flavors, new seasonings, and I love to try new sauces. So something I'll do, I mentioned putting the chicken breast in the slow cooker. I might just season that really simply, like salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. And then when I have that protein, I can decide like what flavor path I want to take it on. Um, so one thing that I really like lately is I just got this um, butter chicken curry sauce. So I usually don't go Indian with my flavors. I don't know why, it just hasn't been um, what I've been doing. But we're talking about confidence in the kitchen and you know, when you're feeling confident, you are more likely and you feel better about going out on a limb and trying new things. So this, adding a little bit of this sauce in over my chicken or mixing it in with my rice, um, really, really flavorful, different, right? It's different. Now it's not just plain old chicken. Um, another curry thing, I'm a huge fan of buffalo. So sometimes for meal prep, I'll take something easy and make it easier. Okay. So like, I'll get this chunk chicken breast, and yeah, you could just make it as you go, make one can of it and for one meal, but I'll take this big one, mix it with some buffalo, cut up some pickle and some red onion and put it in a big Tupperware. And that's a couple servings right there. So uh, one of the tricks about meal prepping is take something you're already gonna do and just make more of it, right? And I feel like we know that, and I've always kind of known to do that, but um, it does take some effort to actually do it. And also, like, how many things do we know but we don't do? Um, so, making it even a little bit easier. Um, but again, when you have, like, a plain, you know, I'm, I'm not saying to not season, but in terms of, like, saucing afterwards. So you can take it Asian and maybe you add some, um, I like to do peanut butter powder with some water, you know, to get it to liquidy with some soy sauce. Um, maybe some sriracha and honey to go kind of Asian style. Um, maybe you got some chili powder or salsa. Another super easy um, thing you can do in the crock pot with your chicken is just to add a jar of salsa. Like then, you know, the flavoring, that's all there for you. Um, so number three, don't be afraid to try new flavors. You don't have to completely invent the wheel every time. Maybe you just go buy a different sauce off the shelf. You know, try it out. Um, the fourth tip is, we're talking about meal prep, but prepping snacks too. Um, and again, these are tips that work for me, and they might not, not all work for you, and that's fine. But things that I've noticed is I am someone who I'm going to have meals and snacks in the day. And so prepping snacks too. So if I get fruit, I'm going to wash it and have it ready to go. Um, cutting up carrots or celery. Um, putting things like... You might have heard Dan and I talk about, um, Mom, I see you hello. Um, yogurt, mixing Greek yogurt, Cool Whip, and fruit is delicious. So have that right where you can see it. Like, make it easier for yourself. Because I mentioned decision fatigue, but it's real. You're going to say, oh, that's the easiest thing I can do now. So if it's easy, you're more likely to follow through with it. And again, what are you following through with? 
those goals that you took time and sat down and were like, this is something I want. Um, getting clear on your why. Um, another thing I like to do is take chickpeas and put them in the air fryer. And maybe I put some cayenne pepper, some garlic powder, um, and they get to be these little crispy, crunchy little balls. Um, so for my vegetarian friends, that's a good option as well for like a heartier part of your meal if you're not eating meat. Finally, fifth tip here, you will lose motivation. I'll just be honest. Um, you might feel really motivated right now, like I've heard some tips, maybe you've heard with one thing. I will feel successful if you have heard one thing where you're like, yeah, I'm willing to try that. Um, you might be going into it like, yeah, but to be honest, and again, speaking from experience, a couple of weeks in, do I really feel like doing this? Because it does take some time and you can find ways to be efficient with your time, um, to cook things that you like, but it does take time. So if you're clear on your why, that's awesome, but also just know. Just go into it knowing I'm not always going to want to do this, but if this is important to me, then I'm going to keep going. Um, your motivation is going to go up and down. We can't wait for motivation to do things. And this is in terms of meal prepping, but really anything we want to go after. We can't wait for motivation to do it. It's consistency that matters. It's showing up and doing it when you don't feel like it. And plus, who are you doing it for? You're doing it for future you. So that's awesome, right? I tell you every week when I'm tired um, when I just come in from running errands or if you know something happened that's stressful or working and I come in and I can open the fridge and there's a meal ready for me and I don't have to think about it I just have to like maybe warm it up in the microwave for 30 seconds I love that I love that that is worth it to me to put in that time to do the prep so joyful rebels are about peace and ease we're about boosting our confidence so one more time to recap, if you want to meal prep, get clear on your why and your goals, because those are what's going to carry you through. Prep for the prep. So, kind of, you know, you can figure out what you want to eat, what you already have, maybe what's on sale this week. Don't be afraid to try new flavors. You can batch cook ingredients in large quantities, but then partition out and flavor in different ways. Um, prep snacks too and I forgot to mention but I've been loving these Jack Links they have beef and chicken strips that paired with a little cheddar cheese stick like on the go like that's ready easy to grab easy to go and then finally you're gonna lose motivation and that's normal. just keep going because you're doing it for future you and you are worth it all right well thank you for listening happy fourth of July again and I plan on dropping one or two recipes that I kind of mentioned throughout the video that are really easy that you might want to try. And if you've got any recipes that you love, um, any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them below. And uh, we'll talk soon, Rebels.